hope you guys are all in a great day today. Uh, my name is Matthew Hickey, and my presentation is going to be over software engineering and just a brief description of the job. Software engineering is the development of software for uh, different, um, just any kind of different program. It could be like a computer program. It could even be like something as simple as like say you're working in a fast food place and like like there's the sorry. You're working at, say you're working at a fast food place, and there you need to write software for the um, the registers, something along those lines. It can be for any type of electronical device. And um, some of the requirements for software engineering, um, it is a type of skill that you can teach yourself, and there are places that will like hire you without any official like, degrees, but for most places, they will prefer you to have a bachelor's degree at least in a computer field. I myself am going to be going to Tennessee Tech University and getting a bachelor's degree in computer science, and from there, I'm going to be deciding whether to um, complete a master's degree. The pay, um, medium annual wage, is about $120,000. That is about $62 an hour with uh, 2500 weekly and about 10000 monthly. Specifically for listed for Google Software Engineer, which is something I'm looking f towards going to, it is anywhere between $126,000 a year and $190,000 a year. Benefits offered. Most places offer um, plenty of benefits for this job, but um, some of the ones that most places offer are uh, health insurance, um, 401k offers, and work hours. It is very, it's a standard eight hour to nine hour per day, 40 to 45 hours a week, usually around nine to five, Monday to Friday. Weekends you usually have off. Location, um, uh, since software engineering is, it is digital, it is something that you can work from home with, uh, but people also work in office. Different companies that offer software engineering jobs, um, Google, they, they have places everywhere. Um, Microsoft, their main office is in Seattle, and a place more close to here is Cook Systems. I believe that is in Cleveland. Benefits of a career portfolio. It is like, it's just a good thing to have. It has all of your information for employers just all organized in one place. It's, it has your uh, resume, everything along those lines. There are internships available. It's not always required. It is usually a good idea to have one, though, since um, most bigger places like Google or Microsoft, they will prefer hiring people with work experience. So having an inter internship will help with that. Um, why I chose software engineering? It is, um, it's a career that I've looked at. I, it is a very, like, you, you can be creative with it. You can, a lot of your creativity you can express in programs, and it's, it's a career that I believe um, it's something that I feel is going to stay relevant. It's not, it's something that's going to exist at, um, in the future. People are always going to be creating more software. Um, my budget chart right here. Right now I work at um, Kenny's Pizza in McKaysville. I make about $548 a week. My fixed income is around $140. My controllable income is 445 That leaves me with a balance of $37 left over. And that's going to be all. Thank you. I'm, I can answer any questions. Uh, what schools have you been accepted to? Um, I have been accepted to Cleveland State. I've been accepted to Tennessee Tech. I believe that's it. I'm, I plan on going to Tennessee Tech. Is there any other questions? Let's give him a hand.